What is going on guys? Sly here back at it once again with another prestige raid guide for you all and this time we're going to be taking a look at the big man himself, Callus. There were some pretty big changes to Callus, and once again in order to beat this bad boy communication is extremely important. Now you can't really get carried through the prestige raid so if you do not know every job within the raid or even Callus, maybe you need help with basic mechanics and whatnot, there are guides up on planet destiny that will help you out tremendously. Once you know the throne room and the void room inside and out, Prestige will then be calling your name. So first, let's get to the changes. What hasn't changed much is Callus' health and the type of enemies in the suck and throne room. What has changed is a teleportation mechanic now comes into play. In normal mode, you had three inside the throne, three in the void or suck room. Well, this time, whoever melees the scion underneath the symbol that's not called will be teleported into the void room. Simultaneously, one person in the void room will then be pulled out and stuck into the throne room. The one leaving the void room is chosen at random, so you never know who's going to be pulled. At minimum, this takes four players who are extremely comfortable in the void room and with being put on the left, middle, and right side when you're in there. So now, let's get to the best method for beating Prestige Callus. And once you and your team get this system down, guys, it becomes pretty easy, actually. So to start this out, pick two players who are using ad control supers and then designate them to be in the throne room the entire time. As we just talked about, the other four have to be extremely comfortable with being in the void room. What you're going to do here is rotate four players only instead of trying to do it with everyone. So after that's decided, one of the four who are going into the void room has to exit the initial teleport and then leave to the throne room with the two who are clearing ads. So that way it splits up three and three. This makes sure the symbols will appear on his forehead in the correct order. Make sure you call out which orb you're grabbing to enter back in. Now once this happens, the two on ad duty will break off left and right. This leaves the rotator to melee the scion. What's different this time is that you have to listen and be ready to react to both sides because the other two will not help the ones meleeing or teleporting. They are on ads exclusively. After you hear what's not called, run to the Scion and then melee it. This will teleport you into the Void Room. Make sure you do not say got it or next or anything like that because there will be others who need to talk. Only the ones who are in the Void Room should be talking. Now once the Scion is meleeed, this will teleport one in and one out. The one who just teleported into the Throne Room will now be the one who melees the Scion, but the player who just teleported into the Void will have to replace the empty area. The problem is that you come in at the very back of the void room and you have to dodge all of the ramps and holes while getting to the empty slot. While all this is happening, you have to be looking for your symbol and making sure you can also get your scion. It is a lot of multitasking. But the easiest way to do this is to let the person who is coming in grab the middle section of the void room and have him or her call out second. So no matter what, every time you melee a scion and you make it back into the void, you know where to go and when to call out. Now to get this to go right, the others in the void room have to listen to the person getting ported. For instance, if you're randomly chosen to go back into the throne room and you were on the left side, yell out teleport left as soon as it happens. Now the person in the middle has to then slide over to the left. Now this does two things. One, it makes sure that the two hard to reach scions in the left and right are taken down at every location and that opens up the middle for the player teleporting in. Now call outs always happen in this order, left, middle, right, no exceptions, we should know that by now. So if you were in the middle and the player to your right gets ported, the middle has to scoot over to the right side. Now that middle player is going to be calling out number three because you just switched to the right side. Always make it so the player coming in will call out second and they have the easy scion to take down. Scooting over and keeping the left and right sides filled at every stop ensures that those scions will always be taken care of. So you simply repeat that process until you come across goals. Now for a quick recap, you start out three in throne room with two of you designated all time ad control. The other person in throne is part of the four that are going to be teleporting. Once you hear the call outs, melee what is not said and then you will be immediately teleported. Listen for the call out on which side left and then the two left over just to make sure left and right sides are always filled. If middle is teleported, you do nothing. If right is teleported, the person middle scoots right. If left is teleported, the person middle scoots to the left. The player who just meleeed a scion will be flying in and going to the middle along with calling out second every single time. You just have to be aware that if you're scooting left, you call out first. If you're scooting right, you call out third. If someone in the middle is gone, then you stay the same because the person flying in will be taking that middle spot. Just keep doing that until you see skulls. 
The three in the throne room should be using supers after the fourth teleport. You have to save your supers for this round. As you guys know, adds are extremely tanky and hard to kill, and there's just so many of them that you can get overwhelmed very easily in the throne room. Supers will help you out tremendously. And if you're one of the four who are meleeing scions, it's your job to help with adds up until you have to teleport in. Now, once the room is clear, of course, as we know, set up the Warlock Rift, hold his shield at a sliver of health, and then take it down as soon as the room gets so bright you can't see anything. Start at sun, throw a grenade at the base of the plate so dogs don't eat you alive, and then jump on as a team to do damage. Once again, my favorite loadout for Callus, Sweet Business, Ariel's Gift or the number with a linear fusion rifle like the Tarantula or Man of War. You simply cannot beat the DPS you can do with those weapons. Adding Actium War Rig or Rally Barricade and I'm convinced it is the best setup for damage, period. Now the four who are meleeing Scions should be using damage supers like Golden Gun with Nighthawk, Nova Bomb with Lingering Damage, Hammers, etc. The two inside who are designated Throne Room are going to need ad clearing supers just because you're going to get overwhelmed if you don't use it. Now just as a quick heads up, when you get portered into the throne room, it's best to try to sneak your way up into the middle area, right in front of the elevator plate. This is a great central location that you can use to then run to your symbol fairly quickly. For example, if you hear chalice and axes as your first two symbols, you know it's going to be one of the plates on the right side, so start immediately running to that right side, and as soon as you hear sun or dogs, you then know which plate is left over. Now once you're in the middle, try to shoot ads as much as you can to help out your teammates, but don't shoot so many that you'll get noticed and overrun. And that's really about it, ladies and gentlemen. Mechanics-wise, it is the hardest out of the entire raid, but sometimes the game itself doesn't really act the way it should. Sometimes you'll fly over a barrier even though you didn't hit a ramp at all. Sometimes you get teleported and land right on top of a grenade, or you get booped into fire or Callus's laser. Also, a quick heads up, on the far right side of the void room, on the fourth barrier, there's an invisible ramp on the far right side. If you're too far right when you get there, the barrier will not stop you, it'll simply launch you right over. With the death penalty being that it takes away your revive token if you die, that becomes a pretty big deal. But after a few rotations, and once everyone sees when and how to scoot left and right, and which is the safest path to take when you're flying in from the back of the void room to make it to middle, it starts to become a whole lot easier. Once again, it's simply about repetition. The only issue is that very last barrier and the projections. Sometimes it takes so long for that third person to reach the last barrier that a lot of times they cannot help with the middle scions. They pretty much get there to simply land a few shots on a projection, and that's about it. So make sure you throw grenades down in between the two scions. If nothing else, it will stun them, allowing you to clean it up later without getting booped over. But yeah, that's it guys. You have to communicate. Call out your symbol loud and clear, then immediately after, call out teleport, left, right, or middle. Only the person who actually was teleported should be saying that. Middle fills in for left or right, then the person who melees a scion automatically knows to go middle and that they have to call out second. Use this method, and after getting it down, I promise you this encounter will start to become easy. I call this the 4-2 scoot method. <laughs> the 4-2 scoot. What you know about that 4-2 scoot? Anyways, that's it for me, y'all. As always, thank you all so much for watching another Planet Destiny video. As always, my name is Sly, and hope you guys are destroying the prestige raid. What I'm really wondering is that if there will be a prestige challenge mode. But that's for another video. Take care, Guardians. And as always, if you're not a part of the Planet Destiny family, we would love to have you here with us. Subscribe for tons more D2 videos. Hit that like button only if you enjoyed yourself. And until next time, this is your dude Sly. Later, guys.